Hi everyone and welcome back to our C++ Primer for Beginners course. In the last episode we started work on our functions. Now in this episode we're going to look at how to use functions and pointers together in order to change values across our class. So let's get started. So now we can actually combine pointers and functions together to be able to do what we call pass by a reference. So when we create a function we you can pass by values or by reference. The difference is, is that when we pass a value into a function, it basically becomes its own little value. It can do whatever it wants to it without any uh, impact on the original variable. Pass by reference means that it, what it can do is it can change the value inside the function and affect it outside the function directly. So let's go for an example of this. So first of all, I'm going to define a simple integer int x equals 5 like so I then I'm going to create a function which is going to just turn that x into something else okay so let's go into create a function here we'll do a void um, my function and in brackets we'll define int and but then we want to point to the um, a, the pointer of it okay we want the pointer of x not anything uh, anything else so use the asterisk symbol as mentioned last time and we'll put in x so we actually can call that whatever we want actually i'll call it something else different actually var there we go pointer var and i put the statements and in here we're going to take the dereferenced value of var which is the asterisk var and do equals uh 20. Okay, so now if I were to call that function, my function, and in brackets here, put in the, the address of my x value, so ampersand x, that will now output and change that value. Okay, so x equals 5 integer, it's going to go into my functions, the address of it is going to go into it. So not actually x itself, the address of it will go into it. Then using the function it's going to take the pointer of it so the the integer that it's pointing to the var is going to dereference that value to get the value from the address so it's receiving an address here we're going to get the value from the address and we're going to change that value to 20. so now if i were to go in here and do c out uh, x that will just print out number 20. so I push play and you can see it's become 20. Now you can start seeing where pointers and functions can come into use and there can be lots of occasions where you want to pass by reference to save a lot of copy and pasting of other information. So let's say you've got a big struct, a big database of a person's data, but you want to change one element of that data. Well, we can use pointers to change one aspect of it using functions. So if I had a whole struct, I can change the values inside of it using pointers and functions combinations. And there we go, we've now got pointers working inside our functions to be able to change values across our class. In the next episode though, we're going to start looking at structs and that's going to lead into talking about how pointers can be used with structs to change values by passing it by as a reference. So you can watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find that video as well as many others early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTubers for the continued support. It really wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.